Genesis 3, and the crafty tempter was more crafty than any beast of the field which Yahuwah Elohim had made, and he said to the Asha, Is it true that Elohim has said, Do not eat of every tree of the garden? And the Asha said to the crafty tempter, We are to eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, Do not eat of it, nor touch it, lest you die. And the crafty tempter said to the Asha, You shall certainly not die. For Elohim knows that in the yom you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. And the Asha saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, and she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made loin coverings for themselves. And they heard the sound of Yahuwah, Allahim, walking about in the garden, in the cool of the yom. And Adam and his Asha hid themselves from the presence of Yahuwah, Allahim, among the trees of the garden. And Yahuwah, Allahim, called to Adam, and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who made you know that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree, of which I commanded you that you should not eat? And the man said, The Asha whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And Yahuwah Elohim said to the Asha, what is this you have done? And the Asha said, The crafty tempter deceived me, and I ate. And Yahuwah Elohim said to the crafty tempter, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you are to go and eat dust all the yomim of your life. And I put enmity between you and the Asha, and between your seed and her seed, he shall crush your head, and you shall crush his heel. To the Asha he said, I greatly increase your sorrow and your conception. Bring forth children in pain, and your desire is for your husband, and he does rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your Asha, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, do not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you are to eat of it all the yomim of your life, and the ground shall bring forth thorns and thistles for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you are to eat bread until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you return. And... The man called his Asha's name Kua, because she became the mother of all living. And Yahuwah Elohim made coats of skin for the man, and his Asha and Drasid them. And Yahuwah Elohim said, See, the man has become one discerning to know good and evil, and now lest he put out his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. So Yahuwah Elohim sent him out of the garden of Eden, to till the ground from which he was taken, and he drove the man out. And he placed Kerubim at the east of the Garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life.